Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 153 of Build Your Stash and Craft. This week we are going to make a little clothespin rocking chair. Now, this is a much smaller scale than what we're going to make today, but the tiny clothespins that we got way back when and we painted them and used them for embellishments, that is the size of clothespins that I used to make this little rocking chair. And I originally made my rocking chairs with regular size clothespins, and I used them for tie beanie babies. That kind of goes to show you how long ago they were, but they perfectly fit the little tie beanie baby teddy bears and everything. And um, so then when I had got some of these tiny paper or clothespins, I thought, oh, I wonder. And so I made this little tiny one, and I had someone that was looking through my videos and asked, could I show you how to make the little clothespin rocking chair? So that's what we're going to do today. Thank you very much for the request. I really do appreciate it. I do apologize. I lost the piece of paper that I had written it down on, so I did forget your name. I'm terrible with names, and I hope that none of you are offended by that because I really am bad with names, so I appreciate every one of you. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We bought a package of clothespins, and so the first thing that we're gonna do is just kind of start taking some apart. We're gonna need about, I think we're gonna need to take a, uh, about 17 of them apart but um, I have some of them already taken apart. I'm gonna show you, you know, how to take them apart. All you have to do is just take one of them with the open side where the, the wire goes this way and then comes down, just kind of twist it towards that open side and it just pops right off. And then if you just kind of slide this, it just comes off the other side. So you just go ahead and take a bunch of them apart like that. And um, you're gonna need your hot glue gun heating up because we're gonna glue these together with hot glue. Let me make sure. Mine is plugged in, but I do wanna, <laughs> it's growing here. Um, I wanna make sure it was actually getting hot. I just plugged it in, so that's why I can do this without burning myself. Don't burn yourself. Okay, so that's heating up. You're gonna need a little piece of your sandpaper and um, and the one thing that you're going to want to remember is, well, this one has a really big hole. I don't want to use that one because it's so different than all the rest. Um, the one thing to remember is whenever you use hot glue, hot glue does not like, um, what was I trying to think of? Stain. So if you're using hot glue to glue this together and think, oh, wouldn't it look really cute if I stained it? Um, believe me, it would not. Um, by the time you're done staining it, you will have a pile of clothespins that looks like that. Um, the stain eats right through the hot glue. So if you want to stain them, you either need to stain them before um, or otherwise... And then you're going to need to make sure that you let it dry really, really well. And I think that the hot glue, I don't know, I have not tried it. Um, after that, if I wanted to stain it, I used wood glue to glue them together. The only thing with wood glue is um, it's not instant gratification because, whoops, you have to put the different parts together and wait for them to dry well, you know, before you start putting each of the parts together with each other to make the chair. So, um, so remember, no stain and also... Um, any kind of a spray, like spray lacquer, that type of thing. Um, even I think spray paint melts through hot glue. I'm not absolutely positive about that. I do know that the lacquer, that the, the hot glue does not like lacquer because I've tried that before too on a different project. But yes, I made a couple of these and then I went and stained them both. My very first ones ever. And they just kept falling apart so it was just um it was just really quite disappointing so I thought I would tell you that right up front because I thought oh wood wouldn't that be cute if it was just stained and I had a bunch of stain in my art room so I just thought I would do that so paint them with an acrylic paint or like I said if you want them stained stain them ahead of time let them dry really well so that that stain is not damp at all on the wood so because I don't think that the hot glue would stick to that either and um, or otherwise use wood glue to put them together and um, then you can stain it after the wood glue is dry 
Okay, I have no idea how many I have here, but we'll start with this, and if we have to have a couple more, we'll do that. All right, so there are a few cuts that we're going to have to make, but we'll kind of make those as the time comes. The first thing that we're going to start out with is we'll make the bottom and we'll make the back. So I have five clothespins across and one close one clothespin across, or two I guess I should say, across the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them with the pointy part all to one end. And we want this to be the back. We want the, the bumpy part to be on the back, the flat part to be on the front of our chair right here. So we are going to just kind of go like this and we'll, then we'll glue our supports across the back. Got some hot glue strings already sticking things here. <laughs> Gotta love hot glue. Alrighty. So we're gonna do that, and then we are going to take one of them and put it right across the very bottom, and then we are going to put one of them right across this flat part on the back just so that we have a nice solid place for that to sit. And I am just, you can measure these so that they're all exactly the same. I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it just to make it a little bit faster. And then sometimes you will wind up with clothespins that are not exactly the same size. And if that happens, what I do is I line up this top part here because that is going to be the top of my chair. And so I want that to be really nice and nice and level. You could even take one of your clothespins and kind of just make sure that they're straight. Okay. And then I'm going to just put this clothespin on here and hold it like this, just to kind of hold those all together. Oh, and also to make sure that I have them lined up well. Okay. And then on that flat part, we're going to put a little dollop of glue. You don't need a huge dollop of glue because you don't want it to squish out too bad. Do it all the way across at once so that you can put this down and get all of them at one time. Make sure that you're lined up with both ends. This one's not quite, so I'm going to slide that out just a little bit. No, I'm not. It is already stuck. So there we go. Just give it some good pressure to hold it together. Oliver, leave Pee Wee alone. You can get up there and share. <laughs> Papa's little puppy has the blanket. And Oliver wants to lay on the blanket. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we're going to come right across the bottom. Now I wanted my top straight. My bottom is not perfectly even. That's okay because it's the bottom, it's the back, nobody's going to see it, and this is straight. But it is nice to do this with hot glue. Now let me see, did I put them the same way? Yes. I was just looking to see, did I put the little pointy end and the big fat end on the same on there? And I did. It has been a very long time since I've done this. So we'll just give that a good press and hold it for just a second because we want that to stay together really nicely. And that should be good. Okay. Now I'm going to just slide this up here just a little bit because now we want to make the seat of our chair. And what I'm going to do, because I want them to line up with each other this way, 
I'm going to just take these and I'm going to put them here and line them up with that one so that they're the same when I put them together or close to it. And some of your clothespins look kind of yucky, so you can just set those aside and use them for something else. So there we go. Now when I put them on my chair, and again I'm going to line them up at the top, like that. They're lined up this way. So we'll just do it again. I'm going to put this one right here, and push down on it to hold those so that they don't move and then get that out of my way. And put a little dollop at the bottom of each one of these. Kind of making sure I have it lined up with the bottom and give it a good press. And hold it for just a second. And then we're gonna go part across the flat part here. Just give that one a good press now. Let's look at this one. Okay, so this is the seat of our chair and the back of our chair. And we're already on a roll. So then what we're gonna do is we'll make our rockers and the rockers are you take a clothespin and take it apart, and then you just put it together back to back, just like that. So we're going to make two of those. There's a little bit much glue on there. Just remember, because this is really, really fat, hard surface, or flat, hard surface, you don't need a whole ton of glue because it's just going to squish out the edge like that, which is no big deal when that's dry. We'll scrape it off. Don't mess with it while it's wet or you'll just smear it around on there. Okay, so there's one. And now we're going to take one more piece and we are going to put the fat part of these two. Nose to nose like this. And then we are just going to center one more on the bottom to hold those together and to kind of make it more like a rocker. So we're gonna do it just like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the noses of these together. Because once we glue it to the other piece, we won't be able to glue these together. So I'll just do it like that. And I put the fat part of the clothespin at the front of the rocking chair. Just give it a good press and hold on to it for a second. I 
for some reason that one doesn't seem like to not get enough glue on it. Well, it's a little chilly in here and I think my glue is just drying really fast. Just kind of trying to melt the glue that's already on there and give it just a little bit more. Know why that didn't stick. I'm gonna put a whole bunch on it and make a mess. Maybe I just did not move fast enough. Put that there and push it down. And then the only thing is, is when you make the two rockers, you can measure this to make sure it's exactly in the middle. Um, or you can just kind of eyeball it. The only thing that you want to make sure is, is that both rockers are the same. By putting the fat one in the front, this kind of leans towards the back like a rocker usually does. So when I make the next one, I just want to make sure that this piece is in the same area as the next one. And that way your rocker will sit even. So we'll just do that again and we'll have both rockers done. Good press. And one more. And then you can decorate them however you would like to. You can paint them with acrylic paints. I'm not so sure about oil paints. I'm not I'm not sure if the chemicals in the oil paint would would cause a problem like stain does or not. So that's something to think about also. I, I don't I haven't used oil paints in years. Once I found acrylics, I stopped painting in oil. Okay, so we've got this one and we've got this one. I'm just gonna kind of line those up so that when I put this on I can kind of line that one up. Make sure that we're in the same spot. I'll be back just a little bit. And I think maybe my glue dried too quick again. feel stuck okay so now we have both of our rockers and we have our, our back and our bottom and so now what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to cut the legs um, to put them together so for the for the legs on the bottom you're going to just take your clothes pins and you're going to just measure how long they are these are an eighth of an inch shy of three inches so that's going to be one and a half minus a sixteenth is going to be halfway. So you're going to mark that and you are just going to cut one clothespin in half. So measure it, mark where half is, and then we're going to just cut it in half. Now the way when I cut them, I put them together like this so that I can, I cut them both at the same time. That way I can hold on to them. I put my mark on there and I start my cut. I already have one started so you don't have to sit here and watch me cut a whole through the whole thing because it's going to shake the table but so here it is I have them together I have lined them up marked the halfway mark and I'm almost through now when you're cutting on your table like this you're gonna you don't want to cut your table so what you need is you need a couple little like saw horses that's where these come in use the part that's not the pinchy part because the pinchy part wants to move use this part right here so just take those, set them on your table, and put your clothespin right on them. They hold, they're going to hold you up off the table so that you can saw without sawing into your table. So this is going to shake for a second, but hopefully it won't take long. <laughs> I'm sorry, it really is shaking. <laughs> And 
and there we go. So now we have two clothespins cut in half and they should be pretty close. And it looks like my back is just a touch shorter than my front. And that's actually okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Both your backs need to be the same size. Both your fronts need to be the same size. And they need to be pretty close. And these might be just a hair, probably the width of my saw longer. So those are our supports to hold up our bottom onto our rocking chair or onto our rockers. This is not glued right here. So before I go any further, I'm going to make this work. And whenever you're doing anything, wet glue is always better than hot glue. Well, I don't know that I can say always, but pretty darn close. Hot glue is faster. Wet glue is much stronger and will last, as far as I'm concerned, a whole lot longer. Um, the only reason I'm even using hot glue today is because that one does not want to glue on there. The only reason I'm using it today is because of the speed for the for the video because otherwise we would have to do each of these parts and wait for them to dry and sometimes they like to slip off of each other and can be a little bit of a pain when you're using wet glue so i figured the hot glue would be the way to go but if you want it to be more sturdy put it together with wet glue okay so there's our rockers and now we have our chair here. And what, what we're going to do is we are going to take the fat one and put it in the back and the skinny one and put it in the front or the pointy part of the clothespin versus the fat part of the clothespin. And the way that I do this is you've got on this front part right here, you've got this little bit of a uh, dent and then you've got a little bit of wood here. So what you want to do is you want to take this extra little bit of wood. Let's see, do I have a pencil? We want to take this little extra bit of wood right here off so that it just comes down and right here is our little curve. So we're going to take this piece off. Now, you can try cutting it with your saw, but what I usually do is I just put a piece of sawdust or a piece of sandpaper right on the edge of my table and then I just sand that part because there's not that much to it. And if you put it right on the edge of your table where this part can kind of hang over as it goes down, um, you know, then you won't wind up, that won't get in the way. But we're just gonna go like this until we get down to that round part. See, now we're almost there. It's sticking out just a little bit. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can so I don't shake the table. And there we go. We've got just a little bit left, so I do really want to take, and at this point I am going to take it off the edge of my table here. So this is what we have. Here's our little rounded part, and now that goes right straight up. And that is so um, when we put it on the seat, it's going to fit right on the edge, just like this, so that it doesn't stick out quite as far, because we want it to come in just a little bit. And so that is why we did that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to make I'm going to sand the other one like this. I'm going to sand the bottoms where I cut them, and um, then I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I just lied to you. You have to cut these in half. You have to cut two of them in half, just like we did, and then you don't have to do any more. These are our legs for the bottom of our chair. The ones that we need to sand are going to be the ones for the arms. So you can just cut those in half. You're ready to go. To put it together, what we're going to do 
is we are going to put, boy, this glue is not holding. I guess you need to not use hot glue when it's chilly either. It's cold outside and we had the heat turned down in the house this morning or at night. So it's still quite chilly in here this morning. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pointy end of the clothespin, the pointy end of the clothespin on the bottom, and we're going to put them together. We're going to put this whole bottom, the back support and the little points of those, we're going to set that whole part right onto the bottom of our rocking chair. That way we have a lot of contact for the glue. And so that's going to go on just like that. And just line it up and put push it right on there now over here you're going to have a little gap because the close the back support clothespin is fatter here than it is here you just want to make sure you go straight across and that goes just like that now there's our bottom and there's our back and then we have our rockers here somewhere our rockers are here so we're going to set we'll set that on its side and then for the rockers, the fat part goes in the front. That kind of holds your rocker at an angle towards the back. This is coming off. Wow. You know, I don't use hot glue much. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Let's do this again. Maybe I'm just not using enough. Maybe I'm trying to use too little. Or maybe I'm not moving fast enough. That looks good. Okay. Alrighty. So for the bottom, I like to put the little pointy ones in the front of our rocker and then the fatter ones in the back only because I think the pointy ones look a little cuter so I like those at the front so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pointy part and we're going to stick it right in here in the big dip here and that's going to then go into the dip here and on to the support here so we're going to glue it on both of those points just like that and then oh, actually I believe and then into the little groove here on our on our clothespin then the back one is going to go the angled part up against our support just like that and then the big fat part in the big hole of our clothespin there. So that's gonna go on there just like that. So, and sometimes it depends on your clothespin. Sometimes they don't wanna sit well. You could do it like this if you want to, um, but usually so that I know I've just got it kind of where it needs to be, I just do it like this. Okay, and then I know they're, then I know they're in the same spot. Um, when I glue them together because the, the only part about it is um, you know you want things to be the same on each side to get better so that it sits better and I just glued that in the opposite way of how I wanted it to I want this nice flat part up against up against the support So it's like that, like this. Okay, so we've got that one on there. 
and then we're going to put this one on here again on the support and then a little bit on the bottom of the chair And looking at how this one goes, I think that I would rather, on the little ones, it fit better the way I just showed you, but I think I want the flat part of this on there too. And then kind of line it up with your rocker so that you know where they need to be. And then just press it so that it's at the right angle. So I just put this one into the big dip, I put this one into the little dip, and I'm just holding that one there. So there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for the top. and just kind of put it at the same angle as the one on the bottom. For me, it's easier to do this than to have the rockers in the way. And I want to put the glue in here also so that I have enough. Just kind of look at your angles and make sure that they're right. Okay, I'm going to turn that over and make sure that it lines up with this one, making sure that I've got the front of my rocker, the big fat part in the front. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to glue it to the rockers. A little bit of glue on here, a little bit of glue in there, and just push that up there. And like I said, you can go through and clean up the excess hot glue afterwards. And I really think, you know, I'm showing you the hot glue, and it does work my first two I made with hot glue. I don't know that I ever made any with hot glue after that, and that was because I really wanted to stain them. So very possibly um, the hot glue just might not hold as well. All right, so I'm going to turn this over, make sure that my fat part is to the front just like this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the little one, and some glue in the big fat one back here. And then I'm just going to, and I'm doing this just like the other one. You may not be able to see it quite as well, but I really like the, the to be able to put the pressure, you know, on the table versus trying to hold it up under the thing, especially the way this hot glue is holding. Or should I say not holding? So there we go. There are rockers, there are legs, there is our chair. Now, actually, um, that's called a nursing rocker. They don't have arms on them from a long time ago, antique rockers. Um, if they didn't have arms, that's what they were called. Um, so there we go. We've got that, that rocker, and that's all done. Now, we have our next clothespin, and on the next clothespin, the way that I cut it is not in half. I cut it just just above I want my nice little pointy part here and then I cut it just above the very first circle so you cut it I'll draw on it so you're going to cut this one right here and you're going to make two of these and the reason is is that you if you do it in half the arms just seem to be a little bit too tall you know the arms are way up here instead of down just a little bit so that's not quite half it's a little shorter than half and then I do make it flat this is where you sand it you, you cut it off and you've got this little half circle. If you've got a little bit sticking up, you want to sand that off to make sure that it's just nice and flat right there, just like this. 
So there's the half circle part, and I just sanded it flat right there. That's the only sanding that you have to do on that one. And then what you're going to need is two more for the arms. And for the arms, we're going to use the flat part out towards, oops, towards the front. And we are going to take these and we are going to put them, the part that we just um, sanded, we're going to put right up towards the end of our chair. I like to leave just a little gap. There is no exact place that you want to put that. So we're going to put that like that on each side. Just like that and just hold it for a second you don't want them to fall off it is the arm of the chair and then these ones are going to go fat part to the back skinny part to the front but if you put it on just like this you can catch the arm but just barely so you can actually just glue it on just like that and that works just fine or you can put a little notch in it just notch it a little bit like this with your saw you want to make sure that you do your notches pretty much the same especially in depth this way and then that's going to go on there like that and so you're just going to cut it down like this just that you know just part way like that and then when you're done cutting it like that Maybe this won't take too long. Then you're just going to cut it this way. And now you're going to have to be careful how you cut it. Maybe set it on its side and then just cut it like this because you don't want to hurt yourself. Or cut it like this. <laughs> I don't know how to hold it to cut it without doing it the wrong way. Um, so just set this on the edge of your table. That's how you're going to do it. You're going to set it on the edge of your table. Here's your table. Set it on the edge of your table so that you can cut up and down like this until you get to there. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the edge of my table even though you can't. Oh, maybe you could see it over here. If I put it on the edge of the table like this, hanging off over the table, and I'm still not going to really be able to do it because my tripod's in the way. But then you're going to saw it like this until you get to that point. I'm going to put it off this edge of my table. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn the camera off, cut both of these pieces, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I have the little notches. Um, whoops. Saw it out of each piece. And again, be very careful and safe when you saw. And so then all we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of hot glue right here on the top of the, the support and a little bit of hot glue here, and then put that down all at one time. And hopefully, um, with this, what did I do with my glue I had? Here we go, I need an extra glue stick. Hopefully I'll get the glue on there before it gets too cold and dries. And put some glue there, put some glue there, and then I'm just going to press that up against there. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you can bring your little support out to the outside edge of your, of the arm right there. And then I'm going to let this little bit of hot glue dry, and then I can always pick that out of there later. And hot glue strings. If you have hot glue strings, whatever you're working on, let it dry. You know, let the hot glue really set up. And then take your heat gun, get it hot. Don't hold it on here to get it hot. Get your heat gun hot. When your heat gun is hot, just go. And what happens is all those little tiny, all the little tiny strings that are on there, they all just kind of shrivel right up. But don't do it while your glue is still setting up. You know, give it a little bit of a chance to, to really get hard because you don't want to remount that glue. And that's why you don't want to hold it on there letting it get hot. 
let it get hot first and then that hot air will shrivel up those little teeny tiny strings that are everywhere it'll shrivel them right up they'll be gone you can do that on any project so again we're going to put it here and here and then now with this one we need to try and make sure that we get ooh, about the same height as the other side I think that looks about even and there we go look there we are we have a rocking chair so and they actually even do rock so not you know really greatly but but they really do rock I think that they're really cute they're the perfect size for a little um like Christmas bears you know little Christmas um animals if you want to give um, somebody a Christmas present and um they're just they're just cute to have around so I really like the way that they turn out. I think they're cute. And like I said, this is this size clothespin. You know, if you have the teeny tiny clothespins, there's a medium one between these that I've seen quite often. I've even seen those great big huge clothespins. Those would make like a really big chair. So, um, so yeah, I think these are really fun. I think that maybe I will maybe throw, nah, I don't have time to throw a coat of paint on it. I was going to paint it up, but I'll have to do that later. But I am going to um, step away for just a minute and f uh, get the stuff that we need for next week, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I did go grab a Thai Beanie Baby to show you how cutely they fit in the chairs. They fit really nicely. So if you have a little teddy bear, um, you know, they fit really nicely in these or a little doll or something. But here is our completed rocking chair. And I think that turned out really nice. And then you can paint them up any way you want to. But remember, don't use stain. Or if you're going to stain them, stain them before. Let them dry well before you use hot glue. So, and then I did just, I put a little angel in this little rocking chair. Um, you know, just to show that they really look cute if you just set something in them. But that is what we did this week. I hope that you that you liked the way that that turned out. I really think that they're cute. And um, I'm going to set you back a little bit. Well, let's put you out of the way because you're going to be too tall. There we go. All right, and for next week, we are going to need some cards. These are from the Dollar Tree. There are 12 cards in here. So with 12 cards, we'll wind up getting six cards six cards that we can give away for Christmas and um, we'll need um, cards that have things that you can cut out of them so we're going to want little bits that can be cut out of the card and we'll need some of our puffy tape and scissors and glue and that's what we will need for next week is some Christmas cards so thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it I hope that you like the way that our little rocking chair turned out so thanks again for stopping by I really do appreciate it and I hope that you all have an outstanding day bye bye